All right, if you're involved in the One Piece community to any capacity, if you talk about the series online with people, if you read the anime, if you only read the manga, did I just say read the anime? If you watch the anime, you get what I mean. But let's skip this intro. Sabo's bounty was revealed and it's caused a lot of controversy. If you haven't heard, Sabo's bounty has been revealed by Ichiro Oda himself to be 602 million berries. And that's caused a huge storm because a lot of people are saying this bounty is too low. Now I'm going to preface this video by saying the, what am I going to say? I'm going to preface this video by saying that, all right, I'm going to preface this video by saying the reveal of Sabo's bounty has revealed a big problem that has been ongoing with bounties in One Piece. And it's, it's somewhat fair to take it out on Sabo's bounty because it's the most recent to be revealed. And since it's not consistent with some of the other ones that have previously been revealed, it's kind of the fault of the Sabo bounty because, hey, all this stuff has already been established. This one has to stay consistent. But I don't think the problem is just with Sabo's bounty. Now, I'm going to be real. When I saw the bounty for the first time, I didn't really think much of it. I just saw it on my phone. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting piece of trivia because usually these bounties are for like telling the story like oh look how big this guy's bounty like jack like this guy is a billion berry bounty look how big this is and it's just to build up the hype for characters and just kind of show how strong they are in a sense but sabo's bounty was just kind of like an offhand remark in a magazine as i understand so it's just like oh that's some neat trivia it's not really part of the story though it's i guess it's a part of the world but it's not in the manga they haven't said oh yeah sabo's 602 million berry bounty that has not been uttered once in the manga. So when I saw it, I didn't really think much, but then I started watching some YouTube videos and people started pointing out how low it was. And I was thinking like, yeah, okay, it is pretty low, but I don't know, there's probably some explanations for that. Like I saw Greg on Twitter, Greg from the One Piece podcast, if you don't know him, he had a tweet about, um, a bunch of different shit. You should go read it. I don't want to like butcher his argument, but he had a tweet just saying how Oda kind of had to put him at this bounty. And I thought it was a reasonable response. And a lot of people's responses was that Sabo kind of had to stay off the radar. He's part of the world government. They're kind of an undercover thing. The government knows about the... I just said Sabo was part of the world government. Forget everything I've just said. Sorry. <laughs> Sabo is a part of the Revolutionary Army, which is an undercover organization directly opposing the world government. Unlike the pirates, who just, their lifestyle is at hands with the world government, the Revolutionary Army directly opposes the world government. And this is why they're such a threat. But this is also why they gotta stay under the radar, because if the world government knew the Revolutionary Army, where, they're, where they were, all their moves, they just destroy them. They want those guys eliminated. And it's even been said that Luffy's dad, Monkey D. Dragon, who is the leader of the Revolutionary Army, is the most dangerous and wanted criminal the whole world. This is the one guy that they want to fucking kill. So yeah, Sabo's second in command in that army. So you'd think, oh, uh, his bounty should be a little bit higher. And, all right, yeah, I agree, but the, the main problem, honestly, that this reveal has made me think about is that it's not Sabo's bounty that's too low, it's Ace's bounty that's really too low, all right? Ace had a 550 million berry bounty, which at the time was fucking huge. I think at the time that was the biggest bounty in the series, and I think until Jack was revealed, that was still the biggest bounty in the series. So at the time I was like, oh yeah, Ace, he's got this fucking huge bounty. And then they started revealing billion berry bounties. All these Yonko commanders like Jack and uh, Katakuri have over, well Jack has a billion and then Katakuri has over a billion. And then you have a lot of guys like Cracker and um, Smoothie who have near a billion. And then today in chapter 877, it was revealed that Perro Sparrow, who's not even a commander, has a 700 million berry bounty. Now, here's what I'm wondering. Ace was also kind of on the rank of a Yonko commander. He was the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates, which was kind of his version of the commanders. Granted, there were more divisions and thus more captains, but to be captain of the second division means you have to be pretty high up there. So Ace having a 550 billion, or excuse me, million berry bounty, like when some of these other commanders are rocking the billions, does that make any sense? And now the argument for that would be, oh, well, bounties are more about threat, threat level to the government rather than uh, strength. 
And Whitebeard, I guess you'd say, isn't as bad, wasn't as threatening as the other Yonko, but this guy fucking declared war on the world government, which I have not seen any of the other Yonko do in this series. And it was often stated that he was the strongest man in the world. So in that sense, yeah, he's very threatening. And he's a very independent soul. Like even before he declared war on them, they should have figured like, yeah, this guy will go at any length to save his crew and everything and fight us. So yeah, Whitebeard's very threatening. And thus his second division commander is also very threatening with a Logia devil fruit. Like, come on. 550 million and then you wonder okay is 550 million on ace really the problem or is the problem that these new commanders have been getting like the billion berry bounties and yeah that's kind of a problem because the precedent was set with ace with 550 million and just think about that if no yonko commander bounties were revealed like if none of jack cracker uh katakuri all those guys if their bounties were never revealed and it was just told to us that Sabo has a 602 million berry bounty, no one would be saying that it was small. No one would be saying it was small. They'd be like, oh my god, it's fucking enormous. I thought Ace had a big bounty, 550 million, that's huge. But now Sabo has 602, what? No, and now it's like all of these guys have a billion berries. And yeah, I guess that's kind of the problem. But again, can you fault them? Like eventually someone was gonna have to have a billion and it, it's, just the storytelling. I think it's good storytelling too, because it's like, look, you thought the hundred millions were big, man. Look at a billion. Like eventually, that had to be unleashed onto the story, and they just picked the Yonko, or he just picked the Yonko commanders to do it to have those billion berry bounties, and just to raise the threat level. Because hey, we've already seen like five hundred something million, and is it really worth it to say, oh, this guy's got an eight hundred million berry bounty? Like, no, you got to stamp it with a billion. So all of this makes sense to me, yet there's still a lot of controversy. So that points the finger back to the Sabo bounty. Now with everything I just said, yes, there's a problem with Ace's bounty at the moment because it's too small compared to the other Yonko commanders. But can you really fault that? Because his was the first to be revealed. Now, yes, there's also a problem with these big Yonko commander 1 billion berry bounties because it doesn't follow the Ace precedent yet you kind of have to have a billion berries eventually, and it makes sense that these guys would kind of be like double Luffy strength. He's at about 500 million. So then, yes, you must point the finger at the third one, which is now Sabo's bounty, being too small comparatively to the other ones. And <laughs> I kind of think that's unfair because it's just like, all right, this is just revealing a big mess that's been in the story for a little while, and this is just like, revealing it like one bounty just to show like all oh, all the other ones have been a fucking mess this is like the, the the problem is beyond just sabo's bounty it's with a lot of the bounties and honestly like the bounties at this point don't really mean anything because like all right is anyone really gonna fucking take down katakuri and, and claim the billion berry bounty or jack or any of those guys like no i guess it's just like a gauge of their threat level but again I don't know, we don't have enough info about Sabo's character to gauge his threat level, like how under the radar is this guy? Like we know he's really strong, but does the government know he's strong? I assume so. Would I say Sabo's bounty's too low? I uh, Sabo's bounty's probably too low, but I don't think the problem is just with Sabo's bounty. I think the problem is with all of these bounties that I just mentioned. And do I really care? No, I don't fucking care. Like the story's still good. Uh, the bounties are a storytelling device just to hype people up and this bounty wasn't even in like the main story so whatever just a piece of trivia 602 million that's how i feel about it whatever wish it was a little higher probably just give him a billion i don't know why they didn't just give him a billion but at the same time like we kind of weird this guy had a billion berry bounty and uh ace didn't really hear about him you know the guy's got a billion come on come on maybe that makes a little bit of sense just think about it like 602 million in comparison to the other Yonko commanders we've been hearing isn't too big. So Ace wouldn't have heard about Sabo when he got that bounty. I don't know. Is the Sabo adjusted to having the Mara Mara no Mi? Probably not. I don't think it is. Maybe it will go higher once they find out, ooh, he's got a Logia Devil Fruit. But that didn't really affect Ace's bounty. I don't know. As you can tell, I'm just rambling right now. Um, this whole thing's a fucking mess. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. It has nothing to do with just Sabo's bounty. But that's all I gotta say about that. This is Tashi Stallion signing out. And next I'm gonna talk about pudding. Just one big pudding discussion. 
and put my thoughts to rest on that because I've been I've been itching to talk about her. So yeah, just catch me in that next video and everybody have a great day.